youtubers welcome to my channel try it yourself today uh, we will be changing uh, intercooler on this uh, Ford Escape 2017 with a 1.5 engine a 1.5 liter engine and the reason we're gonna do this today uh, this specific vehicle was in a little accident and uh, this intercooler got damaged I'm gonna show you in a little bit where it is that's my intercooler right here sitting right in front of the uh, radiator uh, right below the uh, bumper over here the lowest thing and that's my problem over here if you're gonna look a little bit over here a little tiny hole which basically let on a working engine all of the coolant ran out of this vehicle so that's what we're gonna do replace this little thing over here and I just gonna go step by step and uh, see if this was the only leak basically because at this point I think it is but uh, I hope there's not gonna be no surprises but uh, we'll see so step by step replacement replacement of the intercooler on the Fortis Escape with a 1.5 liter engine. Process, process is fairly simple. You just disconnect the sensor. Then you, over here there's a little hose. Uh, probably return or something, I don't know. But take a little pliers mm -hmm. Okay, release the clamp. Now same thing we do to the big clamp that goes from the radiator. After I disconnect harness, two hoses on this side, there is one more thing. Little uh, bolt over here on the bottom that's holding. That's an 8 millimeter socket. Just like that. One side is done. When we're going to be taking it out, you have to push this clip. To release and now we can lift it up actually we don't have to push this clip we have to do the other side and then it's just gonna slide out and down because it's holding over here on this tab and sitting on this rubber bushing now we're doing the same thing on this side A 
eight millimeter socket on the bottom. And that's it. Now we just slide it out and drop it down. That's all it is. Now we're installing the new one on the same place. Locking the tabs. Secure with the bolt so it wouldn't fall on me. Install the hose back, release the clamp secured. Now the other side doing the same thing on this side secure it with this screw installing the hose back on Slide in the clamp, just like that. We can plug this sensor. Installing this hose over here. Right to there, we have to release the clamp, spring clamp. Sliding. That's it. Now it's done. So next step is fill it up with the antifreeze. Next thing we do, we fill it up the system with the antifreeze. You gotta double check on your manual book what kind you have and. Uh, the capacity of your engine according to the book mine uh, full is around eight quarter at eight quarts so at first I gonna fill up like this and after that I will have to start my engine to actually start to make this uh, to circulate this And again, take some time to actually uh, to run the engine until all of the air from the system will actually come out. So it, it'll, it'll take uh, this, uh, fill it up properly with the antifreeze actually will take more time than changing the intercoolant. I don't know if you can hear this, but right now it's actually bubbling, so it is going down the system. By itself, without running the engine.
I actually make it a little complication myself by uh, missing the container over here and I drip some but uh, just everything seems dry for now so now and it's not going down by itself so now the time to start an engine Fine. 